A blessed Sunday, brothers and sisters. I am Father Ferdinand Bahau, a religious missionary of the Society of the Divine Word. In one of his teachings and commentaries on love, St. Augustine teaches about two kinds of love that we all have, the love for God and the love for the world. If the love for the world becomes the central occupant of the heart, it would be difficult for the love of and for God to reign. Now, St. Augustine proposes that we put the love for the world at second place and make the love of God first place. In effect, he is saying, let the better love take over. What I find beautiful in this proposition is the discernment on priority. At least in this idea, the love for the world is not immediately shunned as bad or evil, but rather a fellow love, a companion that should ultimately bring us to the love of God. It is a matter of choosing between and among the good things with that great hope that one finds and decides to love God more than anything. This is the spirit of the gospel today. When one finds that treasure or that pearl of great value, everything else shifts, changes, and they align themselves according to what we value the most. If we value a person, we spend time with that person. We want to be with that friend or loved one. If one values money, one keeps working to get hold of more. For it is said, where one's treasure is, there is one's heart too. Again, while all these things are beautiful, they are not meant to be the joy in themselves, but rather point to someone who gives joy, the source of joy himself, the better love, and the pearl of great price. King Solomon in the first reading realized this early, and so he asked for wisdom, rather than of the riches and powers of the world. He chose the better love. St. Paul affirms and encourages us to pursue the things of God because all things work for good for those who love God, as we read in the second reading today. When one finds the Lord in his or her life, the things of the world become helpers and companions that lead us to Him, and no longer masters that lord over us and chain us to our self-centeredness. Again, the beautiful opening prayer of today's Mass, grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Friends, we pray for the grace to let the Lord, the pearl of great price, the better love, to take over.